The FAA has just made a shocking announcement that could damage SpaceX forever. The administration has decided to ground the company's Starship in a move that could cost Elon Musk and NASA billions. Facing legal battles and hurdles by the FAA, can SpaceX rise from the ashes and reunite humanity with the moon? Stay tuned as we talk about these FAA restrictions, a looming legal battle that could delay everything and how it all affects the Artemis program. Please support our channel by subscribing, liking, and leave a comment. Ever since the Starship's orbital flight ended in a spectacular blaze, we have wondered when this powerful spacecraft will take to the skies again. SpaceX's CEO, Elon Musk, fueled the excitement by promising a new launch in August. Starbase, known for its efficiency, also showcased its ability to upgrade and prepare for launches quickly, adding to the anticipation. Despite the hope surrounding the Starship's potential comeback, a disappointing announcement from the FAA has shattered expectations. They have declared that the Starship won't launch this summer. According to the FAA, they are currently investigating the April 20th launch incident, and they have not yet received the necessary report from SpaceX. This report is crucial for identifying the corrective actions that SpaceX needs to implement before they can get approval to launch again from Boca Chica. It has been three months since the first Starship launch. However, SpaceX has not yet submitted its final accident report to the FAA. This delay indicates that the next generation rocket program is currently grounded and unlikely to attempt a second launch this summer. A spokesperson from the FAA refrained from providing an estimate for the completion of their investigation, stating that the timeline will be dictated by concerns for public safety, and the actions taken by SpaceX. The FAA will not permit a resumption of flight operations until they are confident that the issues related to the incident, whether they involve systems, processes, or procedures, do not pose any risk to public safety or other aspects of SpaceX's license. The mishap investigation is currently ongoing, and the FAA will carefully assess all the necessary factors before granting approval for future launches. After the first launch from its Starbase facility near Brownsville, SpaceX had its existing license suspended. However, now they are seeking a modification of that license. To enhance safety during future test demonstrations, SpaceX has made improvements, including adding a steel plate to protect the launch pad. Furthermore, they recently announced on Twitter that they have rolled out a new super heavy booster prototype to the pad for testing in preparation for upcoming flights. The company released two images showcasing the completion of propellant load tests on two booster prototypes. These pictures display stainless steel boosters covered in frost after being loaded with liquid methane and liquid oxygen. The successful tests indicate that SpaceX is making progress and getting closer to launching another Starship soon. However, despite the positive developments, two crucial factors may affect the timeline. First, the investigation report about the previous mishap has not been completed yet. Second, the FAA approval for another flight is still pending. Due to these uncertainties, it seems increasingly unlikely that Elon Musk will be able to meet the earlier timeline he had announced for resuming test launches. In addition to seeking FAA approval to resume flight testing from Starbase, SpaceX is facing legal challenges. The company has become a co-defendant alongside the FAA in a federal lawsuit that questions the administration's initial approval of the Starship launch program. The lawsuit, brought forward by environmental and indigenous groups, specifically targets the HSEs, Health, Safety, and Environment Review, and approval of SpaceX's plans. These groups are advocating for the agency to conduct an environmental impact statement, which, if required, could result in a lengthy process. If the agency proceeds with the environmental impact statement, it has the potential to keep the rocket program grounded for several years. The plaintiffs, which consist of organizations like the Center for Biological Diversity, American Bird Conservancy, Surfrider Foundation, Save Rio Grande Valley, and the Carrizo Comacrudo Nation of Texas claim that the FAA's approval of SpaceX's program violated federal laws, including the National Environmental Policy Act, NEPA. According to the plaintiffs, the FAA's approval did not adequately address potential harm to wildlife and the environment. They have also raised concerns that the mitigations required by the FAA were insufficient to prevent significant adverse effects on endangered species, their habitats, and tribes that hold the land and wildlife sacred, and that the environmental protections put in place were not adequate to safeguard these valuable resources. However, in response to the lawsuit, both the FAA and SpaceX have denied most of the allegations presented in their court filings. SpaceX, being the most valuable aerospace and defense company in the nation, boasts a remarkable net worth of nearly $150 billion. In light of this, SpaceX has requested the court's intervention in the ongoing case, citing a direct and significant economic interest in the matter. Elon Musk emphasized that the company has invested over $3 billion since 2014 in developing the Starbase facility. This facility is crucial for the company's growth as it aims to utilize the Starship to launch more Starlink communication satellites into orbit and to carry NASA astronauts back to the moon. Moreover, Musk has long-standing plans to utilize the reusable rocket technology of Starship for transporting humans to Mars. After the initial Starship launch, Musk mentioned his intention to spend an additional $2 billion on the rocket's development by the end of 2023. Despite these challenges and legal hurdles, there remains 
maintains a sense of optimism that Starship will eventually take flight. SpaceX is actively working to find optimal solutions to address any potential issues that may arise during a Starship launch. The company may also be waiting for the right moment to respond to the FAA's concerns. Demonstrating the capabilities of the Starbase launch pad upgrade could be crucial in gaining the FAA's confidence in the safety and readiness of the launch operations. It is important to note that NASA is paying SpaceX over $4 billion for its role in the Artemis program, which includes three lunar landings, one uncrewed and two crewed. Astronauts aboard the Orion capsule will be launched using NASA's own space launch system, SLS rocket, to travel to the moon's orbit. From there, they will transfer to a waiting Starship lander, provided by SpaceX, to safely travel to and from the lunar surface. The success of both SpaceX and NASA's rockets is now intertwined, and the outcome of their collaboration holds the key to America's return to the moon. If either of the rockets were to encounter failure, it could have significant implications for the timeline and success of the Artemis program. The capabilities of Starship and the SLS may be comparable in terms of their potential for space exploration, but the pace of their progress is notably different. The development of the SLS program began in 2011, three years before SpaceX initiated the construction of its spaceport at Boca Chica Beach. The rocket had its inaugural flight last November, embarking on a 25-day long mission that successfully sent an uncrewed Orion capsule to lunar orbit and back. With the Starship's first launch, SpaceX's efforts have nearly caught up with NASA's heavy lifting counterpart. According to Randy Bresnik, the assistant to the chief of NASA's astronaut office at Johnson Space Center, the fact that Starship is already in flight testing is unique and revolutionary in the space industry. The development of Starship hardware is being pursued with a sense of urgency and dedication by everyone at SpaceX. Notably, Starship holds the promise of being billions of dollars cheaper than the SLS program. The super heavy booster of Starship is designed for reusability, allowing it to be used repeatedly, while SLS rockets are only suitable for one launch. In 2019, the the White House Office of Management and Budget estimated the cost of an SLS launch to be more than $2 billion. In stark contrast, each Starship launch is expected to cost around $40 million, making it significantly more cost-effective. Beyond the moon landings, the contracts for Starship cover numerous launches to refuel spacecraft in orbit. This collaboration is vital as they collectively draw from NASA's historical insights, particularly from the Apollo era, to propel future moon missions forward as efficiently as possible. It remains to be seen if the FAA will allow SpaceX to proceed with another Starship test flight in the near future, and if the spacecraft will be ready in time for the Artemis mission. Do you think SpaceX has taken the appropriate precautionary measures for another launch? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.